Hi everyone, this is Rob Adaran. In this talk, we are going to discuss vascular access rules for success. Rule number one for femoral access. The point of maximum impulse is not a great choice for your access site. You can palpate the anterior superior iliac spine, the pubic tubercle, and the line that approximates them is better, but not ideal. Using fluoroscopy to optimize needle insertion is best. Rule number two, and this should be obvious, if you have to redirect a deep needle, pull back first. Do not attempt to tilt a deeply inserted needle. But rather, withdraw the needle first and then redirect. Rule number three, do not develop a romantic relationship with your chosen access site. Be ready to move on. We conducted an internal study of our cardiology fellows and measured time to successful access. And as you can see here, amongst those that were successful, most accesses were gained within around 60 seconds. Beyond that, the chance of obtaining access diminishes greatly. So the message is, do not become infatuated with the access site. If what you're doing is not working, try ultrasound access, try another access, or have someone else try. Rule number four, use both hands for access. You can use your non-needle hand to push down tissue. You can also use it to apply tension against the artery to render it less mobile. Rule number five, you must aim. In very good vascular access, you must choose your target and aim for it. In this top flight tennis match, the player in the red shirt is about to return the ball. It may be good enough to return the ball somewhere around here, but at the top level, the player chooses a very limited space to return the ball and aims for precision. In femoral access, your ideal target is somewhere as demonstrated by the black arrows and even better in the red area. This is what you have to aim for every time. You can fluoro your hemostat to gauge the approximate appropriate height. This is clearly too low. I strongly recommend that you pierce the skin with your micropuncture needle and visualize your location before you puncture the artery. It is very useful to perform a sheath angiogram before you continue with the rest of the procedure. Here you can see that at the tip of the sheath there is a degree of angulation in the external iliac artery. It is useful to know this at the stage because Caution should be exercised when you're advancing a wire through this location to prevent a possible dissection. In this particular sheath angiogram, inadequate contrast is used so it is difficult to visualize the common femoral artery well. When you perform your sheath angiogram, make sure that you keep your own hands out of the radiation field. Rule number six, be systematic and follow the same set of steps for every procedure as appropriate. Here, one of our fellows is prepping an access site. Chlorhexidine has already been applied and dried for three minutes. Towels have been laid down. The drapes are being applied.
Once that is done, the correct height for the access area can be determined. Next, our fellow is further prepping the table by getting an ultrasound probe cover. At this step, our fellow has realized that the inguinal crease was not a satisfactory guide for correct uh, access and had to readjust the drape. Before you get access, make sure you have all that you require right there in front of you, including lidocaine, micropuncture needles, wires, sheath. As preparations are made for access, fluoroscopy initially reveals that the chosen point of access is not appropriate, so the height is adjusted as you see on the images on the right. Apply lidocaine generously, particularly in the subcutaneous region, and give the patient time for the lidocaine to take effect. Here you can see our fellow assuming a relaxed posture, standing upright and methodically applying the needle at the correct location. Here you will see another one of our fellows applying a micropuncture sheath and you can see that they're sticking uh, their pinky out because my fellows are very classy. One comment is that you should also apply back tension on your wire as you advance a sheath. Once your micropuncture sheath is in, you have the option of using an 035J wire and advancing it up into the abdominal aorta while checking under fluoroscopy. Rule number seven, and this is a very important tip, when you're advancing a needle towards particularly an artery, but also veins, don't go smoothly forward throughout. The vessel may roll off your needle and your access will not succeed. Instead, advance using small forward bursts. This will improve your odds of penetrating the wall of the vessel. Here, using ultrasound guided access, you can see that I bring the needle by the wall of the vessel and then with one final careful burst forward, the artery is penetrated. And lastly, rule number eight, safety and success is multifaceted and you have to optimize everything. That includes your technique that includes your site of access. Go radial when you can. Use ultrasound imaging when you can. You have to exercise due caution if the patient is anticoagulated. Choose a smaller sheath if you can. Control hypertension. Use the appropriate vascular closure device for the setting. Check your access site often and soon, and remove sheaths as soon as possible. Thank you and good luck.